Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are talking about Tret Face. Oh yeah. <laughs> Tretinoin can do some amazing things to your face, but it can also do some pretty wicked things to your face too. Tretinoin and even over-the-counter retinol can definitely cause things like peeling, chapping, increased redness, increased sensitivity, and the most common side effect of all, dryness and dehydration. Oh yeah, even if you start off super oily, you can expect to get a little bit more dry. And this is what we call Tret Face, right? And that's what today's video is all about. You know, I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks on how to build your skincare routine around your tretinoin or retinol so that your skin really can accept it a lot better. I'm also going to be talking about like do's and don'ts and I've got some emergency skincare products that can really save your face when it's feeling extra Tret Facey. So if you guys are so ready to get the video started, you know the drill. Give it a big thumbs up and let's get started. So let's talk building skincare routines around your tretinoin or retinol. So when it comes to building your PM routine or the, the skincare routine where you want to apply your tretinoin, I really want you to think about your moisture barrier. Oh yeah, I always talk about it, I know. But this is really a, a really key fundamental thing to keep in mind as you're building your skincare routine because we want to make sure that moisture barrier is strong, it's healthy, it's fortified because that's what's really going to allow your skin to accept your tretinoin or your retinol with really minimal side effects. So when it comes to your nighttime routine, you're probably going to start off with a nice, good cleanse, which is really the foundation of great skincare. And you definitely want to keep your cleanser in mind. I love a good double cleanse at the end of the day, a really great way to break down makeup and sunscreen and any additional residue. But you definitely want to make sure that that second cleanser, that cleanser that's doing all the cleansing work, right? You want to make sure that's really gentle, uh, that it has a pH of 5.5. Five. That's the same pH as human skin. It's very respectful to your acid mantle and your moisture barrier. You definitely want to look for all skincare products, really, in my opinion, should be fragrance-free, essential oil-free, and drying alcohol-free, especially when you're applying tretinoin to your skin. So I would definitely recommend looking for a cleanser that follows that. And, you know, you may want to consider a cleanser that is super, super gentle and maybe even a little bit moisturizing, like a milk or cream cleanser. So I've been using the Sioris Cleanse Me Softly Milk Cleanser a lot lately, and it really does a nice job of cleansing my skin, making me feel clean without any filmy feeling, but actually leaving a lot of necessary and healthy moisture on my skin. I'm always talking about your oil and water balance, and I think it is really fundamental to any good skincare routine. So I always start my skincare routine off after cleansing with a good foundation of hydration. I do have pretty dehydrated skin and that is actually a symptom of tret face you know tretinoin definitely can increase dehydration on the skin so it is a good idea to get a really nice deep foundation of hydration so i'm going to be using the primera miracle seed essence first and this is really great very minimal very sensitive skin friendly and it's really deeply hydrating it's got some really great barrier supportive elements to it that is really fantastic especially if you are feeling the extra dryness and the dehydration from your tretinoin this is a really nice essence to add into your routine i really want to go nice and deep with that hydration and my favorite way to do that you know it is with a toner this is keep cool and soothe bamboo toner one of my favorites you know feel free to use your favorite hydrating toner but really what's great about toners in my opinion is you can really adjust the amount of hydration you get in each individual routine just by layering your toner alone so all I do is I just layer it on and I just wait a couple of seconds kind of let it you know settle and absorb and just kind of check in and see how my skin feels does it feel replenished or is it still feeling kind of dry and tight if it feels dry and tight still gonna go in for some more toner so after I've applied my foundation of deep hydration with essence and toner that's when I start to uh, go into my moisturizing phase with my skincare routine and this is where I really like to pack in ingredients like cholesterol ceramides fatty acids what do 
I call them? The holy trinity of ingredients when it comes to supporting your moisture barrier. They're definitely gonna be so, so good for a tretinoin focused routine. And I just pack them in wherever I can find them. I recently started using a product from a brand called RNW. It stands for Renew, Renew Your Skin. This is their uh, Ceramide Plus Concentrate and this stuff has uh, actually five different ceramides. It's like a super juicy list. Five different ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids. It also has niacinamide, which is a really good barrier supportive ingredient. And it has eight different peptides that help with repairing the skin and also some anti-aging concerns. The texture, it's kind of like a gel cream type of texture, but it's actually quite watery. Um, and with just a touch of, of moisture to it, just a whisper of balance, but it's not like a greasy or a really rich, really nourishing type of serum, which is really surprising because a lot of ceramide focused products do have like an, an emolliency to them. And this actually just, it feels very light, lightly balancing on the skin. So I can actually see this working for a majority of skin types. There is a touch of silicone in this one, just FYI. It feels very light in the majority of silicone based products that I've tried, especially in like serums and lighter weight products, this actually has a really pleasing texture. Now, you guys know I absolutely love Stradia, Liquid Gold, and Fortify. These are products that really helped me when my moisture barrier was damaged and weak. It really strengthened up my skin. And the name of the game for your nighttime tretinoin routine really is barrier care. So products that performed amazingly during that period of time for my skin do happen to work amazingly for this period in time with my tretinoin prescription. So I love liquid gold because this is you know, it is a really kind of rich emollient, but still kind of light layered moisturizer. However, I use it like an emulsion because for me personally, you know, I like a little occlusivity, a little lock it down protective layer as my final moisturizer. This kind of lacks occlusivity. This has ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids. It's got seed buckthorn, niacinamide. This is really a product that was specifically formulated to make your moisture barrier strong and healthy and it works. I absolutely love this stuff. I do also really, really like their facial oil blend. This is Fortify and it is jam packed full of multiple fatty acids, ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids, right? So I'm going to get a little extra dose of my fatty acids with the facial oil. I'm a huge fan of mixing them. This for me, one pump of liquid gold right here and like two drops of Fortify. This for me makes the layer a lot easier to tolerate really. And so this is just a really easy way to ensure that my skin doesn't feel like I put too much on it, too thick, right? It absorbs really nicely into my skin and it's just that like cocktail shot to my skin of all the things I want right before I put my tretinoin prescription on. One piece of advice that a lot of us run into when it comes to ingredients like AHAs, BHAs, vitamin C, and retinol or tretinoin is that they should really be ordered in your skincare routine in a very specific order in order to make them more effective, right? And that is partially true, especially for ingredients like vitamin Cs and AHAs. These ingredients are considered pH dependent. They depend on your skin being at a lower pH in order to work effectively, which is why you'll commonly see that they are advised to be put on at the beginning of your skincare routine, like right after cleansing. Retinol or tretinoin, on the other hand, is not pH dependent. So you can feel confident ordering this at the end of your skincare routine and know that you're still gonna get effective results. By ordering it towards the end of your skincare routine, you're actually helping to buffer the irritation, to buffer some of the dryness and the side effects, right? The tret face. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. You know, you can put one layer of your tretinoin on right over um, your face right now and then, you know, cover that up with moisturizer. You can put your moisturizer on and then do a layer of your tretinoin on top of that. And I think that's probably the gentlest option. However, I'm actually gonna go in and do a mix of moisturizer and tretinoin. So I use Curology for my tretinoin prescription. I have a 4% niacinamide, 0.0% two of tretinoin, and I also have 5% of azelaic acid in my prescription. And I just use a pea size amount. So 
I mean, you really don't need that much, especially since you're mixing it. And I have experienced increased dehydration and irritation from using uh, more than this. I've gotten really irritated from using more than this. So that's just all that you really need. Of course, I like hit my finger into it. And then I mix it in with my Iliune um, 80 Ceramide Concentrate Cream. It's a ceramide cholesterol fatty acids moisturizer. Anything that you have um, moisturizer-wise that you like that is comforting, nourishing, and gentle like this will do. I, of course, recommend putting ceramides in wherever you can. So just mix that together and then just apply. And that's all it is. You really don't need a lot. Now often, you know, you won't feel too much happening on your skin after you've applied your tretinoin, but you might wake up the next morning feeling pretty tret facey. <laughs> you know what I mean? You might be feeling a little dry, a little tight, a little dehydrated. You might have some redness on your skin or maybe some new pimples that have emerged. Maybe your skin just doesn't feel quite right. And that's why I really did want to focus in a little bit on that morning post tretinoin or retinal routine, because this is really the time you want to focus in on restoring and repairing your skin. Because like I said, a lot of the side effects show up after the fact. So this is a really crucial kind of skincare moment that we can take to really ensure that our skin bounces back quickly. So not too much changes in my morning routine. I am still focusing in on a foundation of hydration with my essence and toner, layering it up as many times as I feel that I need, and then also going in for my moisturizing products. Now, when it comes to my like serum or treatment step, I really like to focus in on anti-inflammation ingredients, uh, definitely ingredients that can help calm and soothe the potential irritation and redness that I'm feeling on my skin. So I love ingredients like centella, mugwort, and propolis to really help calm calm down, soothe, and heal my skin. Today I'm gonna go in for propolis with the Skin Food Royal Honey Propolis Enrich Essence or serum. It's not too thick, it's not super sticky, but it just brings that little extra something, a little extra comfort to my skin, especially that I'm feeling just a little extra dryness this morning. It's gonna take me a long way for my morning routine. Now I can't stress enough how important sunscreen is every single day, but definitely it is crucial if you are applying tretinoin or retinol to your skin because these ingredients definitely do make you more photosensitive. You know, not only can they increase your chances for premature aging on the skin, burning, tanning, or even sun damage on the skin, it actually can increase the feeling of dehydration, the feeling of dryness, and the feeling of irritation on your skin, aka it can make your tret face feel a lot worse. Today I'm going to go in for the Hi, Hygie, Hygie. I never know exactly how they want this brand pronounced, but <laughs> I'm going to go in for their Relief Sun Moisturizer. This is the one that I really like because it's got a very nice uh, medium weight kind of texture. So it's almost like an added layer of moisture um, and a little, little extra dehydration protection, right? But really sunscreen is just so incredibly individual. This is one I like, especially if you're, like I said, a little dehydrated, maybe a little dry. This is like a little extra bonus um, but I have a lot of sunscreen reviews if you haven't found the perfect one for you you guys can check out my sunscreen playlist here on YouTube and get a variety of different reviews maybe find one that sounds good for you all right let's talk do's and don'ts when it comes to your tretinoin or retinal journey number one do know that your purging and peeling is temporary when you first start off with your product you definitely will experience an uptick in tret face right? You may notice clusters of pimples coming up really fast on your skin. You may experience peeling or dry and flaky skin and just know that, you know, it feels like your skin is getting worse when it really, you feel like it should be getting better for using this amazing ingredient. It will get better. Stay patient. This is a temporary adjustment period. It will get better. So don't freak out. Don't go in super hard with scrubs or go in with really um, harsh like acne, anti-acne types of products. Just know, be patient, be zen about it. You know, right now in the period of you know quarantines and mask wearing and work from home now is a really good time if you've been putting off or thinking about starting your your tretinoin or retinal journey now is the time because this 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 really awkward period 
will go by really fast. But just know it does go by pretty fast. Uh, usually about a month or two is when you're really gonna start to see it get so much better. Don't over apply your product. More is not more when it comes to the amount that you use. And if you wanna decrease your Tret face symptoms, definitely just use the smallest amount necessary to cover the area you wanna apply it to. Usually a pea size amount is all that is needed. It doesn't seem like enough, but trust me, you don't want to be putting on a super generous amount and wake up with a super red, super irritated, super pissed off skin the next day. So definitely be a little bit restrained. More is not more. Just a pea size amount will do. Do apply your tretinoin or retinol to your neck, but don't forget sunscreen. Yeah, it's definitely a great idea to put uh, your prescription onto your neck. I mean, especially if you're using it for anti-aging purposes, you never want to forget that your neck can certainly show the signs of aging. You do want to be aware though, if you put it onto your neck, you are still going to probably experience things like peeling just temporarily and you are going to be more photosensitive. So make sure if you do apply it to your neck that you are protecting that area, but don't apply it around your eye area. You know, your eyes, uh, the skin, they are definitely a lot thinner and a little bit more vulnerable to irritation. I personally can get my retinal right up on um, underneath my eyes, but I can't get it on top of my eyelids. After two or three applications, my eyes become very, very irritated. It does not feel good. So I definitely avoid that area. If you are gonna kind of like apply around your eyes, just really proceed with caution and listen to what your skin is telling you. Do feel free to mix your tretinoin or retinol in with your moisturizer. As we discussed before, you know, it's really not a pH dependent product. So feel free to order it towards the end of your your routine and mixing it in with moisturizer can really cut down on irritation. Don't apply your tretinoin or retinol to wet skin. Uh, wet skin, when you apply something on top of that, it can actually increase the absorption and penetration of whatever you're putting onto your skin, which in theory sounds like a good thing, but with really potent and powerful ingredients with the potential to cause lots of irritation, we don't need to increase the absorption. It's going to work just fine the way that it is. So especially if we're trying to fight the symptoms of Tret face, make sure that your face is dry and you're not applying it on wet skin. Do feel free to skip a scheduled night. Now, some of us do apply our retinol or tretinoin every single night. And a lot of us actually go on a schedule of like every other night or every two days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, whatever kind of schedule you're on. You know, if it's your scheduled night to apply tretinoin, but you're dealing with some pretty nasty tret face and it's feeling really dry, really irritated, really sensitive, feel free to skip a night. I give you permission. You're really not going to compromise on benefits. Um, your skin is not going to like take three steps backwards because you missed one night. And in fact, your skin is probably going to be better off in the long run if you don't push it. If it's feeling really sensitive, if your barrier is feeling really weak and you just keep pushing it and getting really aggressive with your skin, the side effects of that are probably going to be a lot worse than just skipping one night. So like I said, I give you permission. Don't be yourself up about it. If you really feel like you need to skip a night, just do so. And that brings me to my last point, which is listen to what your skin is telling you. You know, I call it a journey for a reason, your tretinoin or retinal journey, because this is not an ingredient or a skincare product that you just apply to your face and kind of forget about it until it's the next time that you're supposed to apply it. It really isn't. For most of us, it really is kind of like affecting a lot of different parts of our skincare routines and it is kind of all consuming. You know, I like to describe it like a long-term relationship. This is like a marriage, you know, this is an instant gratification Tinder. You know what I mean? We're in it for the long haul and that means there's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be times when your skin's feeling amazing and there's going to be times when your, your skin is not. And that is what you really want to tune into and listen to and really kind of fine tune your skincare routine and your application of tretinoin and retinol to really be in sync with those up ups and downs. Just knowing that, you know, in the long run, you're going to get amazing results if you stick with it and listen to your skin. And finally, I just want to give you a couple product recommendations if you're really feeling it. <laughs> if you're really feeling the tret 
face symptoms. I have a couple of like emergency products that will definitely get you through. So first off is the I'm From Honey wash off mask. It is actually a very moisturizing wash off mask. So it can really help treat the dehydration and the dryness and the tight feeling on your skin. You can wear this anywhere from 10 minutes all the way up to an hour you can wear it. And the longer you wear it, the more moisture you get. So you can really adjust your wear time based on where your skin is at. If you are feeling it, you know what I mean? When it's really bad, wear it closer to an hour. You're gonna feel so much moisture infused into your skin that just gives your skin a really nice base um, for the rest of your skincare routine. Especially when you're first adjusting to your tretinoin or retinol, it is possible to start to get that nagging, irritation, dehydrated, and dry feeling in the middle of the day. And this could be because, you know, your moisture barriers may be feeling a little bit more weak. Definitely start packing in those ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids into your skincare routine. Or maybe you didn't just quite get your hydration and moisture levels right. Whatever the case may be, you're stuck at your desk, it's 4 p.m. in the afternoon, you can't wash your face, and yet you can't stop thinking about how dry and tight your face feels. This definitely applies for mask wearing too, because that area tends to get a little bit more irritated than the rest of your face does. I'd actually suggest a Sika cream. Um, one that I really like is the Misha Made Canal Cream. It brings moisture into the skin, which is gonna help with the dryness and the tight feeling. It brings centella into the skin, which really helps to soothe the irritation bring some relief to the skin and it helps um, to calm down inflammation and redness on the skin just to kind of help you get through the rest of the day and then you can go home wash your face and get all your beautiful skincare products onto your skin and finally if you wake up with really really dry tight dehydrated skin whether you applied your tretinoin or not I'd actually suggest adding a sleeping mask into your nighttime routine I really like the I unique propolis sleeping mask I really like this sleeping mask because it's got a really occlusive texture. You see how like thick that is? It really protects your skin during the night. And even though this is really occlusive, it actually goes on in like a pretty like light to medium weight layer. It's really not super heavy, so it plays really well on top of moisturizer and it protects the skin really nicely. Ooh, I would say that video gets categorized into the epic category. You know, there was a lot of information, there was a lot of great golden nuggets, at least in my opinion, and hopefully there was some helpful and useful information for you guys in there. I am curious to know, are you currently using retinol or tretinoin, or maybe you want to start your journey? Let me know in the comment box below and let me know how it's going for you so far. You know, I never thought that this was gonna be the ingredient for me, but I'm I'm so glad I gave it a try because I have gained so much from it. I've been using it for about 10 months now and I'm really seeing the difference on my skin. For me, you know, it was an up and down journey for sure, but the rewards have definitely outweighed the risk. So I'm a happy camper. If you guys enjoyed the video, but maybe you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do consider subscribing before you leave. I release two new skincare focused videos, sometimes three new skincare focused videos every single week. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss when I upload those new videos every week. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I really can't wait to see you guys in the next video. And you know I am always hoping that you are healthy, happy, and safe wherever you are in the world. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.